far. Should I stay or should I go? Right, you've had some interviews with another company, they've gone well, they've presented an offer, you've signed it, you've agreed a start date, and you've handed in your resignation. Out of the blue, you get an email from your manager, CCing in the MD and also the uh, state manager, and the email's titled Catch-Up Meeting. That should really be called the counter-offer meeting because that's what's about to happen. What does a counter-offer look like? There are essentially three types of counter-offer. Promotion, financial, and straight emotional. Promotional may be where you get a new role, new responsibilities, something that you're potentially being looking to do, or that the new job you're about to go to is very similar to. Second, financial, often tasked with the promotion. You can get a promotion and a pay rise. Sometimes it can be continue doing what you're doing, but here's an extra $10,000. And finally, emotional. Emotional is a really tough one because if you've been with a company for a long time and the state manager and the MD who you rarely see sits down and they, they give you an emotional tug on the heartstrings like you've been with us for 10 years, the company's about to explode, we want you to come on the ride with us, finish what you started, all that sort of talk. And that's very hard to deal with, certainly, um, as I said, if you've been with a company for a long time. So these are what the counter offers are gonna look like. You've gotta be prepared for them, and you have gotta be ready to deal with them. The dilemma. This is the dilemma of the counter offer, because why are you moving? If, if they're gonna give you a pay rise to match the other company, or or a promotion, why move? I mean, if you like the people you work with, it was mainly, a, you know, you felt like there was a bit of a glass ceiling. Um, you know, should I accept the counter offer and stay? When this dilemma arises, you've got to ask yourself four questions. And these are the four questions you must answer if you're gonna take a counter offer or if you're gonna move on. Number one, are the reasons behind the counter offer in your best interests? To replace people, to replace employees, it's an expensive business. So as a knee-jerk reaction to keep you engaged, give you a pay rise, another $15,000, it's probably the amount of money they're gonna to need to spend to replace you, um, and, and the intangibles and the opportunity costs that's lost. So are they doing that just to save their own skin, or do they genuinely want to bring you up to potentially what is a market salary or the right salary for your role. Number two, the trust has been broken. There's no doubt about it in a team environment when the next promotion opportunity comes up in a couple years time, are you going to be considered on the same level as trust as maybe an employee that has been with the company for five years and, and just solidly focused, maybe not as good as you, but is the element of trust that you've tried to leave before, is it gonna come up in those discussions? The third question, would you have received a pay rise or promotion if you hadn't threatened to leave? This is a big one. Has it only taken you to leave the company for them to truly value you? Or are they just a little bit disorganized? Um, companies get that way. Caught up in what they're doing, people's staff reviews, uh, you know, they might have missed it. Is it an innocent mistake? And number four, why did you start looking in the first place? What were the real reasons? Was it actually financial? Was it, you know, the opportunity to experience a new environment? You know, people do get stale in companies. You've got to ask yourself that. Really, what was the primary reason why you're looking to move? And by staying, is that going to change at all? If it's not going to change, there's no point sticking around you know, listening to those emotional heartstrings that they pull on, make a clean tie and move on. Because you're likely gonna move on anyway in the next six to 12 months. I think some stat says that 39% of all people that accept a counter offer, within 12 months they're gone anyway. A counter offer is, is always tempting. It's flattering, but you've gotta ask yourself these four questions and really take it on board. Good luck, job seekers. Get in touch if you need some help with your counteroffer. Thank you.